Hey everybody, welcome to the Game Club Podcast. This week we're going to do something a little bit different with our two main hosts, A Plus Start. Hi, hi guys. Sorry, I was I was watching the I was watching the thing we were about to do. <laughs> and Beta Sixty Four. Mocha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I told you I'd do it once and then yeah, I figured I'd do it right out of the get go. Yeah, so go. this week we're gonna be talking about the Nintendo Direct because there was so much great news to come out of it and Too I think much. that there's a, a great conversation to be had about it. And uh let's get started with the start of the direct. What did you guys so, w- go it was ahead good. and tell me yeah, go ahead. Uh, what well, games thanks for watching like? everybody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What was the first? Th- okay, I'm watching okay. this as we go. Oh, WarioWare. Okay. Oh, um, freak! Oh, uh, pause. Pause. I know right you guys there. will be excited about this. <laughs> no, I'm the only one who's excited about this. I think. Like, do any of you care about WarioWare? Yes. <laughs> like at no. all? No. Um, to me, like, uh, well, this is a fun conversation to have. To me, like, uh, I I like them just fine. Every time I pick them up, it's like, oh, that was kind of enjoyable. But it's so strange to me that they seem to come out every generation and sometimes twice in a generation. Hmm. It's like hmm. you know, with with Nintendo, they'll kind of sideline certain franchises a whole console generation. So it always was weird to me that somehow WarioWare always made it out of the the gate every single time. Hmm. But the thing was, is it for a while we didn't get a new one. Like, we got the Wii U one, which was real weird, and then we never got one on the 3DS until now. Can I just say, it's it's so strange, because there's another... Uh, maybe I should wait until we... Oh, this is the whole 3DS segment. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay, this is relevant, the then. This is the uh, thing. Oh, go wait, on. Yeah, you're talking. Sorry. <laughs> I, ju- I, ju- I just got excited about WarioWare. I'm sorry. Continue. Uh, no, sorry. I was just going to say, it's, isn't it strange to me now they're still supporting the 3DS in, yes. like, in, a, in a way? I'm yeah. gonna t- I'm gonna approach this topic a little bit later because I feel it m- might have more relevancy then. This was so. a controversial thing. Yeah. So I many can... of the people were like, "What's on 3DS? Why is it on the Switch?" Yeah, like for every single thing on here, it's like, "Good, d- d- Dylan's dead heat." Yeah, I don't know what, what is that this? is, but dang, why is it on the Switch? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think maybe it's a two two things. I think one is that. The 3DS has a huge install base, and so Nintendo didn't know whether or not the Switch was going to, you know, take off the way it did initially. So there was a lot of games that were greenlit for development Mm -hmm. um, while the Switch was proving itself. And uh, because, I mean, as a consumer, it does just seem redundant to, to have anything on the 3DS at this point when the Switch is portable in itself, you know, mm-hmm. and, and more powerful. So, like, everything you put on the 3DS just feels like a weak version of a game that you could have had on the Switch instead. Hmm. Uh, but Except of course- this uh, inside story, Bowser's inside story, they've been remaking a bunch of these, these Mario and Luigi oh. RPGs. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. I, can't, I like a, it, though. That's another franchise, too, that just seems to, like, Nintendo does not want to put down ever. I have um, never played that series. Ne- uh, <laughs> neither have I, so this is good. Although, yeah. um, what was the last one they brought out? It was uh, uh, it was Mario a remake Luigi. of the first game. Dream, mm. pa- no, Dream Team? Was it Dream Team? Dream Team was the last uh, no, new one, yeah, I think. Was, yeah. Uh, but they I, made, I, the last one they put out was a remake of the first game. Which uh, was... Which was in, partners uh, in... Um, partners no, in... Superstar Cl- Saga. Yeah. Superstar. Su- the, there we go. That's yeah, I I got it. I played it for a very small amount of time. Oh, Detective Pikachu. Yeah. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa! Are we just gonna blaze by WarioWare now? The yeah, fact that it's got nobody... 300 hey. micro games remastered you know from the original, <laughs> including <laughs> Twisted with accelerometer support. You, you yeah, know Detective what? Pikachu if, if has talk a talking about, Pikachu. Uh, yeah, if we talk about WarioWare for more than five seconds, we're not honoring the spirit of the, the franchise itself. So. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's actually a good point. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, it was all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, okay. Okay. So, so anyways, yeah, Detective here. Pikachu, uh, as I like to call Detective Danny DeVito Chu. Um, yeah. <laughs> I do think, like, I got a little Ryan bit of pushback Reynolds. on Twitter about this, but I, I do think that without getting Danny DeVito as the voice, I think they picked someone or they went with a voice direction that was meant to make it sound sort of like Danny DeVito. Mm. So I'm really happy about that. Good yeah, one. that's good. That's like uh, Nintendo listening for, for that's, once. That's almost <laughs> like Nintendo listening. Yeah. <laughs> what that are almost, the odds? That, that almost feels like we're getting what we want. How uh, how did that happen? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, what I want. Mm-hmm. 
wait until the next game. Okay. You know, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just going to say, uh, th the one thing that I noticed that I kind of wish they went with, um, for some reason in my head, I thought the, the boy would be British. Huh. And um, I think it would have been a really nice contrast to have <laughs> a Why British you boy. Why were the boy, Sandy? I know, I was just going to say that. <laughs> like, you can sound I can like a little boy. boy. Yeah. Why do you sound oh, like Pinocchio? Let's do a little bit of role playing here. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're the little boy. Go ahead. Go Hi, for it. Hi, Pikachu. Uh, what, what are we? Uh, what are we trying to solve here? We're trying to try to solve a crime. Is this a crime? Did somebody <laughs> do a crime? Like Morty from hey. Rick and Morty. Hey, <laughs> sweep up that blood, kid. <laughs> yeah. See, this is already a better we game. We gotta find out who killed his Lapras, <laughs> and then we're gonna go and enjoy some games. I got dead Pokemons everywhere. This is just Rick and Morty. Yeah. That's literally what this is. Oh, man. Is it, uh, Oi! Did, anybody Oi, else have anything Pikachu? to say about Detective Pikachu? <laughs> Apart from the fact that I am actually genuinely looking forward to it. Ah, uh, me too. Genuinely. Like, it's just so bizarre. Like, yeah. um, there's, like the, the one thing that was weird about this is that I've been talking to a lot of people about it. Mm -hmm. And they're like, she says, why, why, do you, why do you even care about this game at all? It just seems so weird. And I'm like, guys... You were the ones that were playing me. Uh, what was it? <sighs> that me game. What was that called? Me Tomo. No, me, no, no. The me uh, Tomodachi Life. Tomodachi Life. Yeah, huh. they were playing that for months after release. I, I, I love like, that game. I dropped that one really quick, but I'm like, you guys loved the memes out of that game mm -hmm. for days. How could you not be excited for po uh, Detective Pikachu? You know, it's more fleshed out. It's totally meme worthy. <laughs> yeah. It, it, oh in, yeah. In a wor this world, it doesn't. It shouldn't exist. That's mm. the thing that I'm so intrigued by. I'm mm. like, you don't. I never imagined in my life playing Pokemon as a little kid on the Game Boy that we'd have a Danny DeVito talking Pikachu solving mysteries. I just want to sounds say, amazing. I just want to say I have different reasons for looking forward to this. One is I I really genuinely love Pokemon. But uh, I want to see um, Elliot's reaction to a talking Pikachu. Because he, he's good so big on Pokemon right now. I'm like, I want to see his reaction. I just hope to that the little Pikachu. boy's name in the in the game is Elliot. Oh, yeah. Oh, Elliot! <laughs> we got to solve know that some yet. crimes. <laughs> oh, man. I'm actually praying for that now. I'm, I'm hoping that's I'm the thing that... I am praying for that. <laughs> I am on my knees with the Bible in hand. Come on, praying. Nintendo. Please, Nintendo. I never asked for anything. I just please. I need call this. him Elliot canonically. Yeah, cool. really. Yeah. yeah, like someone from Nintendo's listening to this podcast right now. It's like we, we need to listen to the fans, you guys. All right, let's. What, what are the suggestions we got here from three big YouTubers? Please name the, the main star after my son. <laughs> please. <laughs> yeah, really. I'll love you forever, and I'll buy all your things. I'll do it. <laughs> you do that anyway. Yeah, true. You kind of got me in a bind, Nintendo. Well, how about you do something for me for once? How about you put your hands in your pockets and get some guy called Elliot. Make him in the game. Put him in the game. Put him in the game. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. Please. <laughs> but okay. Yeah, but anyway, right. I'm, I'm genuinely, so, genuinely look forward to this. Yeah, me but, too. Uh, should, we, should we move on to the next 3DS yes. yes. game? Do you know why? Do you want to know why? Do you want to know why? Fucking Luigi's Mansion. I know. This was uh, this was a strange, I had a strange feeling seeing this one. It's it was the best feeling. I screamed. Uh, I freaking screamed. Um, no, wait, wait. I want to say this. It go doesn't on. look amazing. It, no. It definitely the art, its direction, at it least is closer, but it's too bright. I'm not 100% sure how the controls yeah. are going to function, but at least it will probably work on a new 3DS. I, I personally think this, was, and I've heard this a lot, I think this is a huge misstep. This should have been on the Switch. Yes, for sure, 100%. Yes. But I, I love I, it, and on. I will buy it. Yeah, and, it's, yeah, it's true. But there's one big reason why. Why? My mom loves Luigi's Mansion with a passion. Oh, really? It is her favorite game ever. Huh. So when I told her that she freaked. So I don't care if it's crap. I don't care if it's not on the Swartz. I don't care if every single person in the fan base has a problem with it. My mom loves it. All right, hold on. So, so let me just do great. a reenactment for the folks at home how Beta64 reacted to 
Luigi's Mansion being announced for the first time on 3DS. <laughs> okay, I'm interested. It gets, it gets, it gets shown, and he goes, <gasps> ah, it doesn't look that good. Hey, Mom! Yes, Peter's son! Come here! <laughs> they got Luigi's Mansion on 3DS! Ah, it doesn't look that good! I know! I can't wait to buy it! <laughs> <laughs> that sounds uh, That's very just accurate. How it happened, for real. Wow. <laughs> I I just don't understand why they would put it on the 3DS. Probably it should the way have been you, on the Switch. Yeah, I, I think uh, she says said it earlier, and I think they they preemptively greenlit a load of t- uh, titles to be either remade or put on the 3DS because uh, they didn't know how good the Switch was going to be. It would have been perfect on the Switch. I think well, they should have okay. waited. Nobody One. was nobody was screaming for this remake. They should have waited. I was screaming. I yeah, but you were screaming for 15 years. In this yeah, game. but you to wait the next year minutes. then. That's fine. <laughs> hold, wait, hold up, hold up. Go when on. When did Luigi's Mansion come out? 2002. Holy crap! I think it, was, it has I think been it was 15 like, years. Yeah. yeah, I think it's like 2000. Oh my god. 2001, 2002, 2002 around that time. Yeah. Holy crap! It was a launch title, wasn't it? Yeah. GameCube. Oh, um, I was making a joke when I said 15 years. It's been a, it's it's yeah it's been a long time but this is my point you'd wait an extra year. if you didn't know about it you'd wait an extra year just well to... people will argue and I'd probably argue it if I cared about this like, <laughs> which you do <laughs> which, I mean yeah. <laughs> is that Luigi's Mansion was meant to be 3D to begin with <clears throat> no but that's not true I don't know if it was a rumor or not I need to double check fact sources they were, last uh, time I checked it was apparently no, right. around that time actually they were, uh, hey plus on. start he he absolutely he's right. It's true. I heard they were just messing around with 3D around the time that game. They were playing with the idea of having a game in 3D. Yeah, that was, was no, that was legitimately it. Yeah, but it, it was, wasn't it was Luigi's like, Mansion. Luigi's I, think, I think they I think tested it was. with Luigi's Mansion. Yeah, yeah. I huh. thought that was it. I think like, you should well, trust the guy who does betas for. A yeah, moment. excuse me. I made a. Video. <laughs> I don't trust anything he says. I don't trust anything I said from five years ago. You probably shouldn't either. <laughs> that, that's a good point, though. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm pretty you know, sure you're free. right, Beta 64. Dude, it's, this is the time too. I can re-release Luigi's Mansion video hey. when this game comes out. Put on again. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Okay. Um, <laughs> the audience is gonna hate us for that this week. Yeah, they really are. This is something that started before we went on, and now it's a thing. hashtag bokeh. Hashtag bokeh. Hashtag bokeh. Bokeh in all caps. Okay, oh, that's it. That's the hashtag this week. Get it and, then the, and then the people in the comments are gonna be like, "Yeah, I got you a bokeh, a bokeh of hateful comments." <laughs> oh, <laughs> drop it. And I'm just gonna be sitting back and going, "Bokeh." Okay. 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 I will I say. Uh, all right. So to bring, anyways, to bring it back on topic, on. Yeah. I will say um, something about this makes me feel like it will obviously be released on 3DS, but maybe it will arrive on the Switch at some point. The oh. only reason I say that is because I think the next game may be. Okay, no. It, <laughs> they though. literally, as I unpause the video, that's all for 3DS. Oh, god damn it. Okay, <laughs> fine. <laughs> My thing is this, if they were planning it for the Switch, they would have announced it there. They would have been like, like, like they did with uh, Super Smash Bros. for 3DS and Wii U. They announced them both at the same time. Mm. Or like any of the other games on here that were, I think there was one that was 3DS and Switch. Yeah, and but the, one, there's, another, there's a reason I say this, because later on in this Direct, they talk about um, Captain Toad, Treasure Tracker, how it's going to be on the Switch. And it's also going to have a 3DS version. It's like, yeah. why that game? Why that game that nobody cares about? Why not Luigi Mansion? Oh, exactly. No. <laughs> Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. <laughs> we need that animated uh, right now. <laughs> <laughs> I need it. Need it. I need it. Uh, what's, okay. what's this? More Kirby? It's Kirby Star Allies, man. I'm Does anybody excited. care about I'm Kirby? I'm excited for this game. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited for this game because I are uh, Kirby. And I like Kirby, I, but uh, and it means more video views for me when I release my video. Yeah, that's true. That's plus my girlfriend really loves Kirby. Hey, jokes. isn't that out? Oh, that's out in four days. Okay, cool. So I might actually. It's gonna be a best yeah. thing. Who knows? I need I something already, to play I on the plane. We ordered it and play everything. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I don't know I how I feel about say. Kirby. You don't know about? Wait. Okay. Do any of you like Kirby? I don't hate Kirby, I just never, I've no, if I saw that I wasn't, you know, when did they announce that game? Before it had a title, it was like, uh, E3? 
I'm uh I hope that Ant Dude is not listening. Um uh, I I personally I think Kirby is the weakest franchise that Nintendo has. <laughs> I would agree. I would agree. It's, it's <laughs> Dude, okay, if we really break it down, it's the same game. If we break they it just down keep a mechanical level, it sucks. If they bring it out on mecha- if we're talking about a mechanical level, it's the same game, just with new visuals. Every now and again they add a new gimmick. Okay, yeah, that's true. But the problem is, well, the, well, actually, yeah, the problem with my wallet is, I like the freaking <laughs> base game as it is, and I'll keep buying it. Yeah. Uh, hmm. But it, hmm. it's a good yeah, it's, cash game. Yeah. It's, um, uh, yeah. New, there's yeah, no so other like, when I was a, when I was a little kid, when I was a little kid, I loved the original. Uh, Game Boy game, and mm-hmm. it was like the right time. It was like you know, it was at its infancy stage. I was at my infancy stage, <laughs> cool. um, and it was a lot of fun. Um, and I, you know, the music, the character designs, and everything else is very charming. But mm-hmm. then, like as sequels came out, it just, you know, they started off doing uh, new and original things, like with the the Animal Pals and the next one. Mm-hmm. You and know, Kirby's Adventure was extremely original in comparison. <laughs> hmm. Like it, no. had, it was the one that added the uh, oh and freaking Kirby sixty four they added where it's like you can combine powers and stuff like that yeah see mm-hmm. that now that doesn't really entice me in any way it's like oh well, that's initially it'll, cool but it'll that me. to me that can't be the centerpiece of why you decided to put out a new game um, okay guys I got an idea what if we put two of them together <laughs> release a new one yeah, exa- <laughs> exactly <laughs> it's like well are we gonna add anything else to it. No! <laughs> <laughs> keep everything the same. Every, everything. Isn't that what everything you want same, for, like, every other franchise, though? <laughs> Not New gimmick, necessarily. Same game? Necessarily. Oh, Actually, this is, a, this is a bigger argument. This is because yeah, I, now is I think the... about it, I feel like a lot of games do this, but Kirby's are so blatant about it. They're unapologetic. It's, They're like, you know, you love this game. We don't have to do anything. Just make another one. But it's it's one. down. It's like everything is the same. Like how it looks. Right. The music is all recycled from older yep. games. The all controls. The I'm pretty sure they did exactly the same. So it's this is what I like to call it. Uh, Kirby franchise is essentially the Green Hill Zone <laughs> in its entirety. <laughs> It's I mean, like, I could see that, but... Uh, it's like, oh, well, people liked this song and all the songs. People liked these, this enemy and all the enemies. People liked Kirby and... Kirby. People <laughs> you know, like Kirby Superstar. Let's, let's do that again. That's what it yeah, is. Exactly. Uh, yeah, exactly. I don't know, man. Uh, all right, we, we got to get off the Kirby hate yeah, okay. This is, this is going to get us so much... I never hated it. So, just so you know, commenters, I love it. Listen, I'm so going to be real. Me. I'm going to get real I, uh, with everyone. I'm going to get real. I'm not impressed by the game. But I'm probably gonna buy it anyway. So Heck just, yeah! So just and, let's, and let's move on. And I'll be real with everyone too. Go on. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, what's wow. the next up? Next game up Go is Akami. Akami. They keep been recycling told. this dead one. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. I wow. have never. Jeez. How oh many? Re- how many times dude, are they gonna re-release this game? You're not allowed to say that. You're not allowed to say dude, that. Dude, let me tell you something. I love no, this I've game. I've never played Okami, by the way. It's really, Just really good, way. and I loved it back in like 2006. I want to say. Um, but how many times are they going to keep re- re-releasing this game on different consoles? Yeah, and, and, just, and uh, get, well, get, trying to get us impressed by it. I'm yeah, I, th- I think um, I think Capcom is um, tr- trying to to build up the initial fan base. You know, it costs like next to nothing to to re-release this game over and over again. And I think uh, I'm I think I think the impression that it's leaving on me is that they want the fan base the the core fan base to grow before they try to put out a sequel or something. Mm-hmm. Um, but like uh, you know, I played Okami on the Wii when it got its first re-release, and I liked it quite a bit. There are things that I just don't like, and I, like, um, and I think it attributed to why the game didn't sell well. I think initially the reason why the game kind of went under people's radar is because, you know, feudal Japan stuff. It just doesn't. Or is that the right error, or am I thinking of a different error? Uh, yeah, I think you're thinking of the right error. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it, it's it's just it's not. Flat, yeah. It's it doesn't have a global uh, appeal, you know. It's and, got a um, weeb appeal. <laughs> well, even that I wouldn't say is necessarily true. Cause That's true. Even, There's not enough short skirts. <laughs> right. Anime anime is like its own league. It's its own um, strain of Japanese culture. This is but for like, no, these, feudal, This is for the hardcore weeaboos. Yeah, the ones the, who are like, yeah. I like the culture, and I study it every day. Right. With Okami. <laughs> I know I this have, thing because I, I have, have read about it. I have a cherry blossom tree in my backyard. <laughs> <laughs> I grew it last uh, 
month. <laughs> Come here, check out my bonsai. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing my yukata. Yeah, really. I uh, Would you like to I, come for a bath? I just feel like this is a game that just sold on its art style, an art style yeah. that's long since Understand like that. this. I, it looked great in the, in the era, but um, I'll disagree a little bit. I think the gameplay is really nice, um, and uh, you know, visually it can be kind of kind of cool. The, but I, I, like the things that I personally don't like, and I think a lot of people can look past. Is I don't like the Animal Crossing language that they got going on in that game. Oh, there's yeah, no yeah, way to yeah. there's no way to turn it off either. No. Uh, so you just gotta be stuck. If you don't like the sound of do that was accurate. Like, that was bang on. perfect. I, I felt like I was in the game. That was wow. I don't even need to play with Kami now. I felt like you had a little dialogue box where you're actually saying real words. <laughs> Uh, I, you, like you're not gonna like this game because it's like you're stuck with that the entire time. Yeah. Um, and also, I, I personally don't like the way they look when they talk. Like their heads just kind of squish, and, and like you know contort. Just like um, real life. <laughs> Are you calling it crazy? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I, no, Hiroshi. I think it's just uh, it's just its own style that I, I personally just uh, just don't like the look of it. That's all. Well, here's um, my thing. You're gonna die, she says in the comment section. No, but People okay. People love right. Okami. I all right. You better so, uh, redeem yourself, man. Yeah, I'm Quick. gonna re we're gonna redeem myself now. I love the bosses. I love the character dynamics. I like as you get further into the game, you start to learn like there's a lot of quirk and uh, charm to the characters themselves and. Um, you know, and I, I love the music. The music's super good. Don't hmm. say but. Don't say but. But! Ah! ah there it is. But it's nope. great. <laughs> but it's amazing, and we should move on. <laughs> yeah, we should move thing. on. Okay, what's, I say, what's next? I say I'm going to buy it, but I'm probably not. Do you know what? I will say, uh, no. a parting comment on that is um, I haven't played it since it released, and I finished it, uh, so that was well oh, over a decade it. ago. Maybe it's a good time to revisit that. And now we're going to move on to... Sushi Striker! Oh, the launch God. everyone was waiting for! What is this? <laughs> what on earth is this? See, I love how you're the first one like seeing things, so we know it's happening, but you don't. God, you're our first is... impressions, man. Oh, great. It's got um, little non-anime cutscenes. So, <clears throat> this game is a really good indication of how far we've come in the game industry, because back in the day, something like this would never get released in the US. Like, if it was mm. on the NES, It'd be like, True. oh, that's that's too oh, Japanesey. Way too um, Japanese. Yeah, Su well, just no, sushi. It just <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, it seems kind of cool, though. Yeah, the only time like sushi culture was ever broken in the U.S. is when it was like a part of a grander picture that wasn't quite as Japanesey, like uh, Pokemon Stadium. You know, they had the oh the, the licky tongue. tongue. Yeah. 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 Wow, wow. Um, but. But like something that was like focused on this, that would never fly back in the day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm wow. I'm thinking, which is great, which is great. You got you got random companies now releasing. Well, NIS America releases all the weird weave games too. Mm. We're in an interesting weird era. <laughs> We're in an interesting era where we can get pretty much anything from Japan. Yeah, which is it's which a, is it's great. a good time. Yeah, it's a good time to be alive. Except it's for a good time to like you know what? Skirts. You know what it is? Even if this didn't release outside of Japan, you could just get it anyway because Switch is yeah, region exactly. free, so well, it's not even a problem. Thing is this, it kind of seems more like a phone game than a console game, but it that's does. like that's Japan's thing nowadays. They're like, yeah. oh, we can re release uh, Puzzles and Dragons, that phone game for 3DS, and now people will buy it. Which I, I did. I wouldn't. <laughs> Are we ready to move on from this subject? Yeah, I was ready to admit it started. What about Project Octopath? Right. I've, I've heard a lot about this, and I can't remember what context. Uh, I don't remember if people are raising a, raving well, about it. Well, here's the thing. The art style, I like it. I just wish the characters weren't pixelated. Hmm. Yeah. Like, I understand they were going for something where it's like realistic backgrounds in 3D and 2D sprites. And I'm, I'm okay with that. But I would have liked them to be SNES sprites instead of NES sprites. Or like something that looks like it was at home on the Genesis or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. My I see thing this is, now. Yeah. my thing is this: um, Octopath Traveler looks really good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, exactly. I mean, personally, I'd be like, you know, uh, the dynamic between the 2D sprites and 3D backgrounds. It's a little strange. I kind of would have preferred one or the other, 
but that's okay. I, I'm all I'm all bold. I'm, I'm on board I'm, with that. I'm on board with it. It's a bold choice. <clears throat> um, but the thing is, is it's an RPG, right? So yeah. the the thing you need to sell me on first and foremost is the story. Is is the characters interesting? Is the overarching plot any good? Yeah. That's what's gonna get me to buy an RPG. <laughs> That's at the what end got of the me day. to buy freaking Bravely Default. Yeah, man. That was mm. a great High game. High five. Freak, that was a good game. I'm just looking at this game, and I'm. It's like uh, Stardew Valley and Final Fantasy IX had a baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like. Except it has I don't know. absolutely I, nothing to do with Stardew Valley. Yeah, no, it's just the it's just the the aesthetic. <laughs> it's like then, Final Fantasy and Stardew Valley had a baby, and none of the genes came from Stardew Valley. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just I don't know. I don't, I don't feel that. Well, it, it's I a nice idea. I but, need to yeah. play Bravely Second. I'd rather just play Bravely Second than play mm. Octopath. All right, Octopath. so let's uh, yeah, let's move on from this one too. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So oh, let's stop yeah, talking about so that. The next one's No More Heroes, isn't it? <clears throat> uh, I never played I any of the games in the never franchise. Never played. Never really cared before. It looks like just a bunch of random mini games, though, like Mario Party No More Heroes Edition. Yeah, this Except is this is why, like, like initially when the the direct started, I was like, I don't know if this direct is for me. Like, I almost feel like games these days have engulfed uh, a fan base that I'm not a part of anymore. Like, mm -hmm. I was getting those feelings, because No More Heroes was a franchise I never got into. Yeah. Uh, and never Dark really Souls had... was after that. And then that's when, uh, yes, and then that's that was the saving grace. I was oh, like, really? oh, thank you, come back to me. <laughs> but I've never played Dark Souls. Oh, like, you ever. have to. You have oh, to. It's I'm, so I have good. To? Are you telling me what to do? <laughs> okay. I'm controlling your okay. life for you. Well, Bring in Mama I've, 64. <laughs> I've never really played Dark Souls. I don't know. I don't know who that, if that game's for me. I bought freaking oh, Neo. Oh, it is. Mm. Like, you ever hear of Neo? It's like yeah. Dark Souls but Japan. I bought that and I still haven't played it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, play Dark God, Souls. I want to play that. Both, Dude, I'm going to play that. Yeah. We've we'll, got to do a GCP on that. Oh, um, are we? Well, I mean, uh, dude, that's like 60 bucks each. Well, no, no. I, I think it's releasing at 40 Oh, huh. never mind. Okay, we good. Yeah. Okay, I'll look. So it's, it's, it's really so this good. is Dark Souls Remastered, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so, like, the graphics are a little bit better. Um, you get to play. Flash. You get to play it anywhere, anytime, baby. It's so good. So, wait, th was this the last one that was released, or...? No, or is this the, the original? This, this, is the, the original. this is the first one. Yeah. Okay. So, and it's so, it's often considered the best anyway. So it's not yeah. like you're getting you're not being left behind and getting changes to a franchise that turned out for the best. Hmm. You're pretty much playing the best version in the, the series oh, right sweet. out the, the gate. So you're gonna um, buy the memebo? Oh yeah. The what? The memebo. Raise the sun, bro. Oh. I, I see. got so excited. That's I. Again, that was the first thing in this direct where, like, they were like, and we're going to also release a, uh, a Solaire life -size Amiibo. Meme. A life-size meme. <laughs> I wish. Imagine. No, a, a Solaire Amiibo. And I was just like, what? Okay. Like, oh, baby, you gotta stop doing that. You gotta, you gotta leave it. Uh, you gotta, okay, I'll leave it behind. It's you fine. gotta move on from it. Okay. Um, Okay. Yeah, no, but guys, seriously, I'm so excited for this. I, I, I mean, I, I was so excited when they initially announced it, but now with the Amiibo 2, ah, ah, mm. uh, uh, trust me, mm. when you play it, because, like, look it, but I'm going to give I you my... I thought it didn't do anything, like, besides give you a new emote. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't, it's really just, like, if you enjoy the game and you want some memorabilia from it, this is finally an opportunity for you. So that's, are that's, we getting that's to the getting. point where Ami we finally realize that no one buys Amiibos for their functionality? I certainly don't. I, I, I don't. like. I like to have something to look I at. I never bought eight my amiibos. Office. Whoa. An amiibo. I don't own any. You don't own Zero. any. Wow. Own any. And you call yourself a Nintendo fan? Because I don't go in for like all the bump. That's bump. It's just bump? stuff Whoa, that you just wait, buy. Wow. You just buy it for no reason. What the heck is bump? Are we going like to censor that? No, it's like... <laughs> that a, I'm, what, what kind of word are you saying now? It's just what like, are you making me say? It's just stuff. It's just things that don't wait, really is that like do a, anything. A, a British thing? Bump? Oh, yeah. It, I, it might be. It might I be. Bump? I think it would be B-U-M. Wow, you could, really turn, you could really turn that into like a, uh, like a, a hurtful term. 
You, you know, it's just like, hey, you just bump. like, uh, so are you gonna marry this girl? <laughs> nah, bro, she's bump. <laughs> she's bump. <laughs> she's just stuff to me. I feel like that, I feel like that's a word that just doesn't need a meaning at all. You just say it no matter where you are. It's like, oh, or, dang, or just I'm like, you know, this charger doesn't work. How you feeling? Like, I'm pretty bumped like, today. Sir, uh, I've been working here for 16 years, and I, I think it's time that I get either a raise or, or a uh, promotion. Are you kidding me? You're just bumped to this company. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I got too much bump stuff. in this house. <laughs> um, I really need to give her some bump. Okay, but I mean that's interesting, bump. man. You know what? Maybe it's because have you always been like that? Have you always um, just kind of like... Yeah, kind of. Because I, I know these things are just going to end up on my shelf. I'm never going to be oh, used. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. So I, I just never that's bothered. That's the point. Well, the thing is, bothered. they tried to, at the beginning, be like, Oh, they got functionality. You can use them on <laughs> Smash Bros. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> but then everyone was like, Yeah, but we don't care. And they're like, Okay, we'll just give you a costume. And then they're like, But we still don't care. It's like, Okay, well, I'll make it where it's easier to play the game. But we still don't care. We'll give you a freaking meme. Okay. Hooray! Yeah, I'll Nintendo take a meme. Really, really is just like they—they they know what they're getting away with each yeah. time. They're like, um, well, they're not getting away with it for me. At first, yeah. <laughs> I am the only one. Not I'm not gonna me. get trapped in the bump. I ain't buying. Honestly, buying. it's you know, Nintendo is kind of like in a weird situation with that anyway. I, mm -hmm. I, we shouldn't have a whole conversation about Amiibos, but I do just qu quickly want to say, like, you know, if you make the content too good anyway, people are just going to complain that it's like, oh, you're locking it behind an Amiibo? I have to buy an Amiibo to do this? Yeah. It's like, yeah. dude, yes, it is. <laughs> it's paid like content. With, buy that's what an it is. Amiibo. Breath of the Wild did it well with, like, the Wolf Link Amiibo. Hmm. And, like, yeah. every one of the Amiibos, Zelda-wise, got you, like, outfits that were really cool based on the game that Z the links from hmm. i thought that was a good yeah. idea that was that was all right yeah all right, anyways, so still, anyways, I, not yeah. i experienced anyways, you guys it because you guys really need to play dark souls I, this is the best opportunity to do it um okay. yeah yes, i mean like, <laughs> no, okay I, I and now just, i'm doing it <laughs> oh yeah I, yeah <laughs> thanks Keep it up. Uh, no, but I just really quick. I didn't have any interest in the franchise either uh, and, and then someone that I looked up to is playing the game and I was like is it any good and just to fit in with the person I gave it a shot and I was like wow This game's really good. I just want to know who so, the person was. That's yeah, was it me? <laughs> <laughs> was it was it me? I don't remember doing it, but was it me? I don't think it was you, but dang it. <laughs> it was Sean Connery you guys. Well, every now and again, you have to slap a woman. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, that's awful. Anyways. Wait. Oh, um, no. I unplugged my headphones right when he said that. Oh, don't good. Tell I hope him. everyone else did, too. I would go. <laughs> Dang it. I missed out. The all one right, anyways, time my headphones unplug is the anyways, one time uh, something funny happens. All right. So move it on, I suppose, right? Okay. Yes. Mario let's move Tennis on. Aces. <clears throat> Here we go. This was a thing they made. <laughs> yes, but okay. I'm actually kind of excited, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for this. Oh, oh. Get ready. So, uh, do you remember Mario Tennis for Wii U? Yes. That bowl. Wait, of why bump? does Chain Chomp have a racket? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Hold up, hold up. Respect Chain Chomp. Secondly, uh, <laughs> that Wii U game was a big pile of bump. Huh. I, I got I it. See I got it from uh, <laughs> Nintendo. They gave it to me for free, and I was excited because I was like, "Oh, it's Mario Tennis. Seems fun." I had played it at E3 and was like, "Wow, this is pretty good. Can't wait for them to make the whole game." Hmm. Turns out that was the whole game. Huh? And it was hmm. terrible and the worst game I've ever played in my life. Wow. They had That's five courts right that were all exactly the same with a different color. Hmm. The same animation, same gameplay, no story mode. Mario Tennis Aces is like they took that and was like, oh yeah, we forgot everything from this game. That's added in now. Huh. And that's that's this. There's actually like a story mode-ish thing. There's like different courts that actually have like things related to the Mario universe, more characters that people actually care about. You can break and, characters' yeah. rackets yeah. for whatever reason. I don't reason. understand that part though. <laughs> so that yeah, part's weird. I'm just gonna say if you are a fan of the the sports yeah, franchise like for, for Mario, I and do, uh, 
even if or if you were just interested in getting into it i think this might be a really great one for you because i was looking at the oh, yeah. the trailer too obviously and you know there was a lot of features that really added to the depth of the game it's no longer just like get your character Match in the correct a. position and yeah and hit a at the right time um mm. now there are elements to it that can that can add strategy real-time strategy to it yeah. and uh that's really so, cool to me uh, so like this is this was my actual reaction. Um, they were like, "Do you want to hit the ball in a very specific direction?" Well, now you can. And like I was like, "That's actually really cool." And then like within seconds of that thought, I was like, "But I could just go and play real tennis." Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh I see. Thing. This is this is tennis for people who don't want to leave the house. Right. This yeah. is for me. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing. Okay, two things that I one I'll agree with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because oh, I do play tennis actually, like in real life. And okay, I could I really see that. Enjoy it. Oh, thank, thank you. <laughs> he <laughs> looks after himself. So I can, secondly, I can see you have like anime girls in the the, the bleachers wh too. Wait, what? The beta son is a, is a <laughs> beta I think I am. <laughs> <laughs> I do, but who do you think uh, I am? The guy who told you what. Hit. <laughs> and then they're post like, NANI! <laughs> NANI! <Nani? laughs> but my thing is this, it's also got freaking motion controls with the, with the Joy-Cons, which yeah. I also think is really cool, because it looks to be one-to-one. -one. Mm -hmm. So I figured, you know what, it's, it's got like the arcade kind of thing, which is really awesome, and then it's got the actual like, moving your arm and getting some exercise for really? once in your miserable okay, life. Okay, maybe, all right, maybe I actually have to get this, because I was actually going to say a moment ago that the only tennis game that ever interested me and my friends was Wii Tennis, because before I was like, I could just go out and play real tennis, but with yeah. Wii Tennis, it was like, wow, I can play tennis at home. Like, I can actually move my arm and, and hit the ball. Like, you know, yeah, it, and this game has that. Yeah. All right, well, if it's got that, then I, you know what? You Did just you convinced it? me. I guess, Should we I guess all buy I... it and, and well, face each other and stream it? Dude. Yeah. There you when go. does it come yeah. out? If it comes out before uh, PAX. That would be hilarious. <laughs> 22nd. Oh, so I'll be back from Japan. Yeah, cool. Yeah, let's do it. All right. There You're you go. going to Japan? You yeah, just sold three Japan copies, Nintendo. Are you proud of yourselves? Are you yeah. happy? <laughs> you gave Chain Chomp a racket for whatever reason. Okay. <laughs> See? <laughs> a beta -san is going tennis. to Japan to, for, the, <laughs> for the tennis finals. <laughs> he, he has this whole anime arc that people don't even you know just, about. You'll see it on my new uh, autobiography anime. <laughs> Dubbed you're gonna entirely be, by Danny DeVito. You're going yes. to be like you're going to be like 3 points behind. You're going to be like on your knees like, like uh, stressed not out. Here. Yeah. <laughs> and, not now. And, and then, then you're, the girl you're from opponent, the audience. You can do it. Yeah, and your opponent's uh, going to have like that evil anime character yeah, voice. Yeah, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Was that dead meme Uganda Knuckles? Who was that? That's my main main enemy in the arc. The Ugandan Knuckles. I fight dead memes. That's actually my storyline. I fight dead memes in tennis. My oh, brother, this, you gotta, I would you, watch you that show, dude. Can we can we have a Kickstarter campaign? Beta San versus Dead Memes Tennis Arc. Yes, uh, <laughs> this Not is here. definitely going in Not the uh, the best of part two. Um, Honestly, though, I'm gonna do it now. Wait for all right. it. Uh, all, right. all right. So, anyways, the next game. <laughs> the, well, I, next actually, up. I am gonna buy that tennis game. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna buy it too. Let's all beat each other. Wait, that sounds really fun. <laughs> All right, now, kinda, now I'm kind of worried about sharing a panel with you. <laughs> that, that, didn't, that didn't come out so good. Um, that came oh, look, out exactly it's Koizumi. I wanted it to, but why didn't it work? They didn't take the bait. <laughs> <laughs> the beta. The beta. Uh, they didn't take the beta. All right. So, what next up is uh, Koizumi Captain always Toad. looks sharp, right? He just looks just like so a sharp looking guy. Oh, so Captain Toad. But we we gotta talk about that. Yeah. Well, let's talk about it some more. Let's. Uh, no, no. It's got the new. Don't gotta talk. Release the same guy. Jeez! Oh my wow. goodness! You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to uh, volume that down when you release. No, this. keep it all the way to the top. Put it 11. Uh, yeah, really. Release the same guy. Oh. Oh no! But this one goes to 11. Jeffrey, what are you watching in there? <laughs> 
Well, okay, it adds in uh, oh, it adds theme in levels, Odyssey, Odyssey stuff. theme levels. Fair enough. And yeah. uh, local co-op that's worthless. Huh? Good. Great. I don't it's know like, what's going on with Captain Toad, man. I think like some, uh, so, it's some reporter, game. yeah, some game journalist probably just went up to Miyamoto and was like, "Could you make this its own game?" And Miyamoto was like, "Kaching, okay." <laughs> well, You're okay. damn right, I can. I don't know why it's yeah. in that part of the world, but okay. Mm. Why is it on 3DS as well? Why? Why, why this be, and not uh, Luigi's they, Mansion? They, God yeah, damn it, Nintendo. This is like this is one of those things just where when you added Danny DeVito. I know. Dang. You were so Didn't close. It, the, oh, it was, Jesus. I think, Undertale. I, all right. So can I can I take oh, a wait, guess whoa, whoa, at why this is happening? What? I think <laughs> I th I think um, you know there was a lot of positive buzz generating around this game when it was announced for Wii U, mm. and then it probably didn't sell well because it was on Wii U. And Nintendo is like, we're not giving up on this. I'm I'm certain that you know there's an audience for this, but it just was on the wrong platform. So we're gonna ba try both. Ba ba you know, release the same game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, so, this is the thing, right? That they, they've done this so many times now. They're releasing so many uh, Wii U games but for the Switch. Does anyone really care? Like, uh, I don't really I, have a problem with it. I, I don't have a problem with it. But the thing I is, some of these games do. I already bought. Yeah. yeah. So that's my problem me, with it. For me, I kind of care because, once again, it, the, the prophecy remains true that if there's a game that's going to be released from Wii U to Switch, it's one that I don't care about. And mm -hmm. we're at, like, game eight <laughs> in a row. How do you <laughs> yeah. manage to strike eight games in a row that I don't care about that you're going to bring over to the Wii, the Switch? And like, uh, huh. th there's only three games I really, really want. It's Star Fox Zero, um, oh, yeah, Super cool. Smash Brothers, mm -hmm. and, Which, Pikmin th and Pikmin 3. And oh, that's it. Pikmin 3, yeah. They will get ported. Trust me, they will they will make it. Because look, Nintendo, you can hear them jimmying their pockets and being like, ah, "Jimmy, crap, we, yeah." I, I like we, the way I like the <laughs> way bring you console, all the phrases. I love you. I love the, the way you Jimmy consoled me there. Buff. <laughs> a plus star. I love the way you consoled me there. It's like, like games coming back from the war. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come but back, you, can, sure you can you can hear them. They're, they're yeah. checking their pockets. They realize they they lost a ton of money on the Wii U. That whole that whole era, that five years, they must have lost a ton of money. And yep. you can just hear them going, "Well, we need to recoup this." And they're just releasing every single and you, main game of the uh, that was on the Wii U. You and can hear in the background, bum bum ba dum, release the <laughs> game. Yeah, it's it's this you <laughs> know. Moto's theme song. He's like singing in the shower. He's like, dun, 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 release the same game. <laughs> All right, what but it's like that. It's, it's very transparent what they're doing, and it's uh, some of it. It's like I already bought this game. Don't mean buy the same game twice. Star Fox Zero. I never actually bought or, or really played, so I. That's would, why. That's I why it needs to be re-released. The yeah. There were a lot of great qualities to this game, and it could be. Uh, immediately fixed by porting it over to Switch, which is yeah. just like retooling the, the gameplay to um, to have just regular controls and um, add more stages. Mm. Like if it's a deluxe version, you know they could add like a couple more stages, and then it would be a complete game. Uh, the the one thing that I didn't like about Star Fox Zero was just there was so few stages. They repurposed stages for like new missions and stuff, and I'm like, no. Yeah. See, mm -hmm. Star Fox 64 already created a precedent that you have a lot of stages, so doing that was like taking a step backwards. But other than that, yeah. I loved it. I loved yeah, it how they really brought back game. all the yeah they brought back all the original voice cast. The graphics looks looked really nice in my opinion. Yeah. Um, I absolutely really hated good. people. Crapping on the, the graphics when it first got announced. I was like, what is wrong with people? The graphics are good. You know? um, yeah. <clears throat> okay, but, um, so now yeah. we get to third party games. All right. Yeah, Undertale. So we got Undertale. Uh, I, I will, right. okay, we, I don't okay. want to talk too much on Undertale because I haven't played it and I've been told I need to play it and I know nothing about the game. Same, and I don't really care about it. I mean, uh, right. put that so I, I just like RPGs, so I'll give yeah. it a shot or something. Maybe when it comes out. I played a little bit of it. It's um, it's it's. It, I can understand its fan base. Uh, move on. <laughs> and okay. Yeah, they didn't even give it. Look, that that segment on Undertale quickly was like less than a minute. It shows how much they even care about it. Crash. Yeah, uh, coming out Sunday. I don't want to hear was... about. I don't need to hear about Crash. Yeah, cr Crash Bandicoot. I don't need need to hear about <coughs> Crash anymore. Like we already no. did Crash last well, year. Yeah, yeah that's I'm actually done. true. Yeah, I'm done right. with Crash. Right. But I will tell you this. <laughs> My dad is freaking out over Crash. Really? Because I bought Crash for the PS4, and he was like, oh, I wish I could get that. He loves Crash Bandicoot. First uh -huh. three games are his favorite. 
Yeah. And then he's, I said, hey, you know, it's coming to Switch. And he was like, <gasps> And then your mom was like, we only have money for Luigi's Mansion. And he's like, <laughs> how do you think my mom like, sounds? Beta. We only and have then, the money uh, for Luigi's Mansion. And, and then your dad's like, beta, my boy. <laughs> You're going to have to choose. <laughs> your mom or your dad. <laughs> This is the last straw that broke the camel's back. Available 10th July. Okay. Uh, Never okay. fear, Sorry. Little Nightmares is almost Moving done. on. Little okay. Nightmares I'm very excited about, too. Oh but, okay, goodness. it looks pretty bad on the Switch, though. Like, the gameplay it showed looked like... Ugh. Really? Compared to the I... PS4. Because, like, oh. I'm intimately in tune with Little Nightmares for the PS4 because I've just wanted to buy it. I just haven't. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm intimately in tune with how good it looks. And on the mm -hmm. Switch, right. it just seemed washed out. All right, so moving on from that. We're, we're, yeah, now we're kind of rapid on. firing so we can get we're, to the main course. We're rapid course. firing. Yeah. Uh, South Park. South Park. Uh, uh, yeah. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. No. Right, moving on. Moving on. Uh, okay. Hyrule, okay, yet again, on the Wii U, Wii U yep. failed. Here it is and on the Wii yes. I didn't buy it the first time because I wasn't interested. Nothing's going to uh, come into My girlfriend is super excited for that, though, so. Really? Okay. Yeah. Well, you have a really... girlfriend? Yeah. I mentioned her, like, three times in this stream, I think. Not in this stream. It's been, like, six months. Wait a minute. I've, you've only mentioned your mom three times in this stream. What's going on oh. here? Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 We're moving on No, that's on cool, now. though. No, it's really neat that, like, so many people in your family, I'll call, I'll just consider your girlfriend part of your family. Uh, like, oh, each yeah, had so something to works. take away from this. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, like, it's like every part of my life, everyone loved it. Yeah. All right, well. That's that's Arms. a better way of putting it. Yeah. Uh, Arms. Pass. Cannot get over this game. Like, like I don't get it. All right. So like, Arms came and went, but yeah. Two two franchises in this direct. It's like let it die, man. Like yeah. you released your game already, you know, and you released the DLC for it. Can we move on? <laughs> like well, it's like freak. It will. It seemed like a good game. I didn't really like it though. Hmm. It was just. Meh, and yeah. they keep doing more stuff. Like, aren't you still excited? I'm like, no, no, nobody, no. nobody cares about it when it came out. Nobody cares now. To oh. yeah, <laughs> oh. to oh. stop. Uh, we could do it. We could do a GCP on it someday. Uh, I mean, you know, just to talk about it. But like, yeah, uh, you know, as far as, as an announcement, nah, I'm good. No, all right. And Splatoon, Splatoon two, <clears throat> yeah, Splatoon no. two. Now that I'm excited for. I love Splat. Splat's a good game. Yeah. It's so. adding 100 new pieces of gear, three new stages, rank X that I'll never be able to get to ever. <laughs> and then it's got a uh, new DLC with um, with a new story mode that looks really cool. I mean... Yeah, they're just going all out with Splatoon. And again, it's yeah. like, it, if you're not a fan of Splatoon, it from the outside looking in, it's just like... Man, they're spending a lot of time with this franchise that I don't seem to care about. <laughs> yeah, neither of you care about Splatoon, do you? Um, not particularly. I hey, I enjoy it, but it's not like the best thing ever. A yeah. lot of people rave no. about it. I, they must be seeing something I don't. I don't, know. I don't know if I would call it the best thing ever. It's just, it's a fun time. Yeah, it's, it's a game I enjoy. Like, um, so it's like, oh, more content, cool. For, yeah. for me, for me, it's like you know, when it initially comes out and you get the initial DLC, I, I, I remain a. Uh, playful like a, a cooperative Nintendo fan and say to myself well it's not for me but you know let the let everyone enjoy what they what they what they want to enjoy mm -hmm. but now we're at a point now where it's like and I'm like I'm also thinking to myself yeah next time it'll be something that I am looking forward to and yeah. then like now we're like at direct number 1700 and it's like they're still <laughs> talking about Splatoon and I'm like can we please <laughs> I want to talk can we talk about something I actually want to play um, well speaking of that one last announcement. Oh, we already there? Okay. Get in on this, yeah. Andy. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, I'm the only one here. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Coming in with the percussion. Uh, all right, so anyways. Guys, I, I, have a, I have a reaction that I posted on Twitter uh Needless to say, I figured it out right from the start. They're like, we have oh, one more too. announcement for you. They already talked my ear off with Splatoon, so when they showed more Splatoon, I knew. I was like, wait a second. 
this can't be about something regarding Splatoon because they just poured their heart out about it and now they're making like a big deal out of this. this I no honestly way. thought, you know what I thought this was going to be? I thought they were going to put Mario in Splatoon because they're, a lot of oh. the kind of Sunshine yeah. reference, it, like the, the link that people put between Sunshine and Splatoon. And I thought they were going to just put Mario in and then we all saw it. <laughs> we all saw the, the logo. The logo yeah, in like, the eye, which uh, the which uh, logo in the eye, now. which is which was a meme from the beginning. Well, here's my thing, Nintendo. I think the register, like you know, you're successful if you can create a meme. Yes, you know you're successful. That, that was my only sentence. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. End of sentence. <clears throat> so Smash um, Brothers is already going to be the best thing because it's already a meme. Okay, yeah, I, can, but, I can't uh, wait, gentlemen. I can't they, wait. They don't really give us a clue as to what it's going to be, apart from one thing. Uh, yeah. They show Breath of the Wild Link, game. which made me well, think that this is most likely a brand new one. I think it's going than... to be the same engine. They just added more characters and new stuff, remastered the visuals, and added probably a, a mode, new modes. Yeah. I think it's going to definitely be based off the same engine, because it took forever to make the, the Wii U game. And since porting Wii U to Switch is so easy... I feel like they took that two years it to actually, like port the uh, engine. It, and it didn't take that long for the Wii U one to come out. And uh, it turned out, this I won't get into this too much, but um, it apparently it's it's the engine from Brawl, too. It's retooled and really? everything. Yeah. Huh. Hmm. So, and I'm not surprised. I wasn't surprised by that in the least. When they when they initially said in an interview, it was like it's from the ground up. I was like, I don't believe you. And I should always believe my developers in interviews, but like I I, I don't trust that. And then it turned out <laughs> that it was just the brawl engine. And I was like, there it is. Um, hmm. But like I'm not. I would not be surprised whatsoever if they do the same exact thing here. So what yeah. I think they're gonna do. Yeah, no, I'm not surprised. My speculation, and I'm totally fine with this because. But the Wii U one came out just fine, you know. I, oh yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah, I hmm, I, I liked the it. Wii U. I liked it quite a bit. I mean, obviously, I wanted things that were in Brawl that got taken out, but um, uh, so anyways, what I think they're gonna do here is I think they're going to update the visuals in some way. Like they're gonna change the uh, the visual style. Like it might not be as washed out as it was in the last one. It might be like darker colors, maybe. Who knows? Because Brawl was like. You know, highly detailed textures, mm -hmm. uh, grittier looking um, color palettes, and um, you know that that's the direction that they went with. And then yeah. Wii U was like washed out, colorful, um, and you know maybe this time around it will be something slightly different. We'll see. But I think that's what they'll do there is change the art style a bit. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I think they'll add more characters. I think they'll they'll retool the. Um, gameplay engine so that it feels different when you play it, just like with Brawl and Melee, you know, how they play drastically different from one another. Yeah. Well, not mm. drastically, but if you were to pick yeah. up one game from the other, you could feel it. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry sure. that I'm kind of, like, taking over the conversation here, but I've been thinking no, about this constantly. No, you go, anyway. you go. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you do it. Say what you gotta say. New music, new, new stages. I, I guarantee you're gonna see a lot of returning stages because, you know, you can carry over assets if you carry over the engine, so. Um, I guarantee you. They're going to use all the same stages from the Wii U version, add in the stages from the 3DS version, and then add in new stages, and just make this like the ultimate Smash Brothers game. Well, yeah, I can tell you I there's, there's going to be at least two new stages, and there'll be something from Odyssey and something from Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Oh, straight could you up the bat. A freaking Breath of the Wild stage. That'd be pretty. Open sweet. world. That would be amazing. Open world. <laughs> Start off on different <laughs> mountains and you have to find each other. Yeah. Takes 30 minutes a game. Yeah, hey, you get your money's worth. Yeah, true. It's fine. Don't go up towards the top of the stage. You're going to have to put on some warm clothing. <laughs> <laughs> you better have items on because if you can't get that warm clothing, you're just going to freeze. <laughs> Link has to take like a five minute break to cook something to get stamina again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, so we got we got Splatoon. You know, the, how do you think they're gonna play? I mean, like I think they're revealing a lot of the move set in the trailer itself. Yeah. I hope I hope they have like where you can like shoot your gun and it will like cause the things people to get slippery. That would be interesting. Or, or like shoot it on the stage. Like you could aim where you shoot it, and if you shoot on the stage, they'll slip and slide. Or hmm. if you shoot at a person, they'll just have slippery ice controls. My my thing is I wonder so they're gonna be sub zero essentially. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm wondering 
how much of the stage you can coat in in uh, ink. Because I feel uh. like that would be very taxing on the hardware. Like, I wonder if it's just going to disappear immediately when you shoot it I, on the I don't think it would be that bad. Because <clears throat> all they got to deal with is one background, a couple of characters. You know, uh, I I'm, hope that the Wii, uh, the Wii, um, the Switch could handle like Breath of the Wild with its big open environments, and it was still pretty much locked at you know a decent frame rate. All right, yeah, yeah, it'd be fine. It'd be fine. I honestly think it would just be cool if you could play it just like Splatoon and just shoot like the ground and then go underneath the ground and go places. Yeah, that that would probably be a move of some sort. That would be. Well, I feel like they'll make it more like locked than that, where it's like you shoot ground, shoot ground, fly, and then moves up. Like, you have to be a certain distance away. But I feel like they should make it like, um... What's the character's name? Pokemon guy. He's, Pokemon he's like a ninja. Oh, Grenin Greninja. 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 Yeah, yeah. Greninja. Yeah. Like, you know how you can, like, hold down the button, it'll move, like, a little line forward, and then, bah, you move yeah. over there? I feel like yeah. that's what it should be for, like, the split character where you can, like hold down and it'll shoot do, 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 like a line of ink and then it'll go down in the ink and go flying to that yeah well it's all speculation well, yeah and, but uh, I want it. I and want I'm it. almost certain uh, quote me right now I think uh, the flood will finally have its purpose <laughs> and, oh uh, dude that would be awesome yeah you know, I'm just kidding of course that would break yeah, the game that would but, never like, happen <laughs> that would absolutely never just, happen just like immediately but... kills all the inklings <laughs> That would be so cool. A mess yeah, genocide. Never gonna happen. Okie dokie. Yeah, never. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I'm so excited for this. I, any guy, so any of you guys have uh, character picks that you guys want? A Jimmy Not Neutron. Really. <laughs> Jimmy Neutron. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that donkey video. Yeah. Of yeah. all the people. Good video. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, don't the know. characters. Uh, a plus start. As long as my boy's in there, as long as my blue hedgehog friend's in there, it's all good. It's all good. Oh, I'm sure he will be. Yeah, I'm so. sure he won't be. I mean, will be. Well, he's, he's been you around know, it's for actually, a while. It's actually, Nintendo's kind of putting themselves in a pickle, I'd say, because, like, if, you know, they don't own Sonic, hmm. but, like, Sonic is now almost becoming a staple, so it's like, you if you remove that staple, I think it's just going to do nothing but upset people. Yeah. You know? Like me, for instance. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. Like I would be upset. Um, so, yeah. I want to see Wolf come back. Oh, that I, would be cool. I, hmm. I would love to have. Wolf he's a come clone, back. but he's a cool clone. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly, I think that all clones should just be costumes. Yeah, uh, I agree. But uh, you know, work. but Wolf Wolf is not like a true clone. He he like he does his thing. His all of his moves have different properties. So, um, yeah. you know, if he was just a, a reskin for for Fox, you know, I wouldn't. This is what I think. Hmm. Here's what I think. I think they should scrap the whole costume idea. No, well, no, no. Why? I lied. I lied. I lied. I lied. Wow, Pardon you backpedaled hard me. on that one. I lied. I lied. Save yourself. <laughs> I lied. I lied. What I meant to say was, I think they should have something called sub characters, where it's like a different skin and different uh, like moves, like not like not like different moves, but like different stats of it. So like you mm -hmm. have, um, let's say, Sheik and Zelda are sub characters they have different moves and different kind of things but they're a sub character you would have wolf and fox be sub characters you have oh, mario so you, and dr mario so as you're saying like instead of taking up a character slot you have to like switch over yeah like you can pick it oh, okay. and then you can choose a button to make it a sub character one right. but you know like there's a lot of characters yeah. that didn't that didn't need to be separate characters like lucina and uh dr mario and i know that initially they weren't supposed to be yeah well lucina you should have went, you should have went with your gut there because like I, everybody was everybody was generally upset that they like took up a character slot and I still to this day I understand the explanation behind it understand what they're supposed to be and how it wouldn't really affect the size of the roster but the fact that they're there you know Their just, it bothers just me, pisses me <laughs> off. Yeah, it should but they should just be costumes you know like that that's what we want is and costumes if they, I and if you don't want to make them costumes make them sub characters yeah, yeah, and that that would be Lucina would be a great example of that concept of, as a sub character. Like you just scroll through uh, the Marth um, color co selection, and then you can have a Lucina yeah. instead. And I think that works. That would work just fine. Yeah, kind of like go a step further than what they did for Bowser Jr. 
But it's like it's definitely it's definitely an arbitrary concept. I'm like anybody listening would be like, well, why does it matter? And it's just like for me, it's just cosmetic. It just it feels like it it's gives a great. It feels like it gives, gives a greater respect to the roster. Is how how I look at it. It's as weird as that sounds, but I think it's but. a fair it's a fair statement. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. New characters. I, I'm sorry, we only got one King minute K. left. Roll. So, King K. Roll is a great choice. I think that would be really cool. Um, Banjo Kazooie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like that would ever happen, though. But you oh. might. You may end up getting Crash Bandicoot. Ah, uh, now that I can actually see happening. Yeah. Crash that Bandicoot really could happen so now. Yeah, yeah honestly, I could see that happening. <laughs> Bubsy the Bobcat. No, no, no. Oh, too far. Too yeah. far. Too oh, far. No. Wow. Too far. <laughs> I love how you're like, wow, too far. No one That's else is thinking far. that, but you're just I'm oh, God, definitely thinking I just, it. I have sinned. I know I have sinned. That is too far. Yeah. Does anybody have anything they want to close on the entire Waluigi. direct as a whole? Waluigi. Um, Add freaking Waluigi. Just, it, just. It's, it's you have to every other character. You got Peach, Mario, Luigi, Wario. Every yeah. other character besides he's, Waluigi. He's just hmm. a meme. <laughs> I know he's a meme. But he's my meme. Aww. He's meme. Um, <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, closing thoughts. Uh, I obviously really love this direct. I mean, it didn't see, it didn't sound like it when you break it down case by case. But in truth, if you don't ask, if you don't force an opinion out of me for each game, I'm okay with it just coming and going within the direct. So long as there's things that I can look forward to. And mm -hmm. what I have to look forward to is Dark Souls with its amiibo. Um, uh, Smash Brothers. <laughs> and Those two things. Cut. And yeah. Was the there end. anything else? Was there anything else that I was excited about? I can't remember. Me personally, the other Mario other tennis. game. Tennis. Yeah, oh, that's, that's right. kind of okay. And uh, Detective Pikachu, but. Oh yes, that's right. Detective the rest Pikachu. of it was uh, either re a remake or a, a port. Uh, yeah, just. God damn it, Nintendo! When are you gonna give us? Animal Crossing. When are you gonna give us an Animal Crossing on Switch? Oh, well, they gave us Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. I don't want yeah, that I... shocking Ooh, display whoa. of. <laughs> whoa! My yeah. audio cut out right when you were at the part, and I was like, "Oh no, I don't want to. Rem I don't want to have to remember to censor that, man." Listen, you don't have to censor anything. But my point being, I don't want to play. Animal Crossing on my phone, okay? Yeah, I want to play it on a console. It's been it's, five years now. Come on. Let's. It's really interesting that Animal Crossing's getting the back burner right now. Because, I know. Like, it's, it, that's one of those franchises that was... It was like Nintendo Splatoon for the Wii era. Um, yeah. Where they were just like, put it out on everything. Sell millions. Yeah, big bucks, big bucks. Um, and it's become like Metroid in every era. <laughs> Right now, it's like it's. It, I <laughs> it's kinda, been like Metroid, like forever, forever. So, the GameCube. So, d to all the Animal Crossing fans out there, as a Metroid, Pikmin, Star Fox, and Earthbound fan, welcome to the club. No. <laughs> welcome to the welcome now, to hell. All these franchises know, just locked in a dark room somewhere. Yeah, You'll come now out. Now you know the pain years. that I feel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, no, it's but just I really don't. Yeah, this all circles back to what I've been saying for a long time now, which is that Nintendo has the resources to do it. It's a little bit risky. You might cut your bottom line, but what you need to do is you have all these fantastic franchises, and they cannot be sidelined for five years. They yeah. you need to have a team working on each of these franchises, uh, so that so that they can grow, they can build a fan base, you know, and they don't get forgotten about in the public eye. I think like. One of the things that hurt Metroid the most is that you guys at Nintendo want to release it every five years and expect everybody to remember it. It doesn't work yeah. like that. You got to keep it going, you know. Um, and I would take I would take Animal Crossing over Mario Tennis any day. I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need it. Yeah, I exactly. Like the direct. Okay. Oh yeah. What did, me you, too, what, man. what did you like about the direct? I Beta? liked Tell how us. everyone got a little something something. <laughs> Which I is got, true. Yeah. I got my, my Wario little something for dad. Little something for the for the everybody's. Everybody hmm. got a little piece of goodness. I got Smash Bros, Mario Tennis, Little Night. Uh, probably not gonna buy that. Splatoon yeah. 2, Kirby. Well, I was I was already gonna buy that. Uh, WarioWare. Yeah, there you go. Uh, there yeah, you go. that's some... all I need. 
Like there was, <sighs> I, I probably was more excited Over about this direct than many directs in the past. Yeah, I was gonna say overall, very unexpected direct. Uh, expectations were exponentially low because of the time of the year and everything. Which and, is great. Uh, when your expectations are low, you can always exceed them. That's right. Yeah, that's very true. That's, that's right. my philosophy. Go in low, life. come out high. Yeah, honestly, oh. these. Uh, oh. uh, Don't take drugs, kids. These directs have been coming out <laughs> fairly frequently, and the the announcements have been pretty good. Mm. From director. How long are they gonna hold it up? Summer. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. The summer. E three. Freaking E three. Yeah. E three. They're gonna have the worst. It's like I can't. It's gonna be nothing. Yeah. Well, they've kind of already uh, announced everything. Only Smash Bros. <laughs> oh, have they? Actually, I could see them doing that, pulling another Breath of the Wild and doing only Smash Bros. at E3. Oh my god, if they did oh, that, no, I'd be no, totally no. fine with that! No! We... no. That would be the one game, because when, when it was Breath of the Wild, I was like, really? Because I wasn't super excited about Breath of the Wild when it was initially announced, mm -hmm. but Smash Brothers is the is my Breath of the Wild. That's my Zelda franchise, where, like, I, give me as much information as you can. Wait, I will take Smash it. Smash Bros. is your Zelda franchise? It's my number one. Um, oh, I thought his, you were his... like, wow, Zelda's my favorite. I mean, Smash Bros. is my favorite <laughs> Zelda game. I no. Love my three favorite Zelda games, Ocarina my... of Time, Majora's Mask, Super Smash Bros. My, but what I meant by that is that people get frenetic about the new Zelda yeah. game yeah, or yeah. the new Mario game. Mine is, is, is Smash. So there we go, then. Yeah, we'll, that's uh... the whole direct from beginning to end. We'll we'll reconvene our thoughts on everything that was announced, uh, you know, probably in the summer, maybe. <laughs> see yeah. see how far along things have moved. See if Hopefully uh, things go well. Do they do directs monthly? They do them monthly, right? Uh, uh, bi monthly. Bi monthly. So we may we may yet get some more enticing games. Kind of feel, kind of feels like they they put Super Smash Brothers at the end because they knew they needed to save it. Oh, did you guys see that uh, that Xbox Direct? <laughs> no, that was what? cute. That was adorable. Nice they were try. Like, we can do I it too. <laughs> and they were Wait, like, what? yeah, they have their own little direct. They were like, oh, we're, we can do this too. <laughs> and it's like, what did they well, announce? All right, all right, Microsoft, that's adorable. What do you got? Sea of Thieves. <laughs> okay. Wow. And what else? You got another uh, 50 minutes left. We got player and, under no battlegrounds. And Sea of Thieves. <laughs> 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 so they got nothing, basically. No, yeah, they did. Like always. They, literally, they got straight nothing. They, they were trying to. It's funny because they were like, we got all these games, and they literally went back to Sea of Thieves like five times. It was so sad. All oh, right. Wow. They have to mention Minecraft three times. Yeah, they didn't. They it was like oh, they're CFDs. moving past their default franchise. Apparently so. All right. Anyways, yeah, uh, there you go. enough ragging on that, the micro. That yes. Was, that was our uh, that was our thoughts on the Nintendo Direct. It so, really good. I had to talk about it. Um, mm -hmm. And he had to force us to talk about it too. That's right. So I, don't came worry. I, I, I came willingly. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't willingly. I'm yeah, tired, yeah, but yeah, I exactly. You know, once the podcast is over, I'll untie the ropes and let you go. Um, <laughs> All right, we're thanks, free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Call the police. laughs> Anyways, uh, guys, if you if you liked what you listened to, make sure you follow us at PAX East. <laughs> oh! We're gonna be having a panel uh, at PAX East, which is in Boston, and it's uh, April seventh. Um, oh, Sixth. thank you. That's Fit. why I got you guys actually around. April seven yeah. o'clock. <laughs> seven o'clock. All April these people fit. are gonna go to a, a, a panel room at, s at six on the seventh, and they're gonna be like, "Where are they?" <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, if, if you're gonna be at Pax East, it's gonna be at seven o'clock. Yeah. The Expo Hall closes at six o'clock, anyways. So, what you guys could do is you could just go from the Expo Hall right over to the line to wait for us, and boom, line? we're gonna you give you some. There to be a line. Oh yeah. If Dude, there isn't a line, I'm gonna Dude, cry. If there's a line <laughs> really? for this panel, I will cry. It's just going to be like one guy in a Sonic hat. Hey guys, I'm here. <laughs> and I'll be like, I didn't I come out here. Video. I didn't come here and bust my ass so I could get no line. I need the line. Yeah, keep it. <laughs> Ego much. <laughs> Give me the line. You guys better get me a line right now. Just like, uh, just you, what you got to yeah. do, what you got to do, A plus stars, you got to come out with like a trench coat, sunglasses, and a mustache just to see how many people are in the line. <laughs> and then if there's nobody, I just casually Andy? walk yeah. off. Yeah, and have you like your worst like American accent? 
I heard that there's a lot. I just, what are you guys here for? It's like, uh, <laughs> this one of them. <laughs> I'm here for she says. What about that A plus start though? What a character, am I right? <laughs> am I wrong? <laughs> wrong? <laughs> I just like she says. <laughs> Screw you, do. Yeah, we'll go. Oh, I'll just be like, I'll just turn around, buff? reveal it's me, and I'll go, he's not allowed in. <laughs> Yo, all of y'all are a bunch of bump. <laughs> <You're all bumps. laughs> <laughs> Hashtag bump. <laughs> Hashtag bump. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see you again soon. I know. I know. We we tend to just kind of do this when we feel like it. It's. Just, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, it's but just that makes it, it special. Once the panel and all that stuff's done, we'll get back on schedule. I promise. I promise. Yeah, I don't, I don't make promise. that promise. I don't promise. <laughs> I retract you my promise. Yeah. Yes. No promises. <laughs> um, but no, we see we see the comments, and we really do appreciate all of you coming back and asking where we are. It, it really does yep. show that there's people that genuinely care about the show, and uh, it, it definitely. I like is, that people care. Yeah, it's a motivating factor for sure. It's like, yes. oh, the, the the people want us. Let's let's come well, back and do something. So, but you know uh, how early they have to wake up, though, people, right? I don't want to yeah. do that. Well, yeah. All right, well, Andy, what are you saying? Yeah, for it's like five p.m. <laughs> it's like half three in the afternoon. I, I get up early too. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, oh, man. we gotta wrap this up. Yeah, yeah okay. See up. ya. Thanks Bye. so much, guys. Be yeah, yeah beach, beach. 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 It's good to that be was, back. That was, yeah, yeah, we always say, we say this every time. Yeah, it's it's like good to it's be good back. To be back. We've been away for it's a good month. Good to be back. They just keep leaving. <laughs> what, hey, but once you leave, it just makes the returns that much sweeter. True. Like a burnt cookie. <laughs> <laughs>